What specific problem does the proposed method aim to solve in the context of natural language processing tasks and large language models, LLMs? The proposed method, Kernel Language Entropy, KLE, aims to solve the problem of estimating semantic uncertainty in large language models, LLMs, when generating freeform natural language responses. Specifically, KLE addresses the challenge of accurately quantifying uncertainty in LLM generations by incorporating a distance metric in the semantic space of generated answers. This allows KLE to capture more nuanced semantic similarities between generated texts, which is crucial for distinguishing between semantically similar but not strictly equivalent responses. By leveraging semantic kernels and von Neumann entropy calculations, KLE provides a more expressive and general approach to estimating uncertainty in LLM generations compared to existing methods like semantic entropy. Klee's goal is to improve the reliability of LLMs by offering a more fine-grained estimation of uncertainty, which is essential for high-stakes applications where hallucinations or inaccurate responses can have significant consequences. How does the proposed kernel language entropy, KLE, method work, and what is the motivation behind incorporating a distance metric in the semantic space of generated answers? Please illustrate step by step. The proposed kernel language entropy, KLE, method works by incorporating a distance metric in the semantic space of generated answers to better quantify semantic uncertainty. The motivation behind this is to address the limitation of semantic entropy, SE, which only captures semantic relations between generated texts through equivalence relations, not accounting for nuanced semantic similarity between generations. 1. Definition of semantic kernels. KLE leverages semantic similarities by using a distance measure in the space of the generated answers, encoded by unit trace positive semidefinite kernels. 2. Quantifying uncertainty. Uncertainty is quantified by measuring the von Neumann entropy of these kernels, allowing for a more nuanced understanding of semantic uncertainty. 3. Incorporating metric in uncertainty estimation. This approach allows for the incorporation of a metric between generated answers or semantic clusters into the uncertainty estimation, providing a more detailed assessment of uncertainty. 4. Generalization and expressiveness. The method is more general and better at capturing the semantics of generated texts than previous methods, making it more expressive in distinguishing uncertainty in generations. 5. Theoretical proof. The authors theoretically prove that KLE is more expressive than SE, meaning there are cases where KLE can distinguish uncertainty in generations where SE cannot. 6. Applicability. Importantly, KLE does not rely on token likelihood and works for both white box and black box large language models, LLMs, making it versatile and applicable in various scenarios. 7. Algorithm description. The KLE method is described in detail with two variants introduced, KLE operating directly on generated texts and KLEC operating on the space of semantic clusters. 8. Computational complexity. The computational complexity of KLE is approximately identical to SE, making it feasible for practical implementation despite the additional semantic considerations. 9. Design choices and hyperparameters. The method offers flexibility in design choices, such as combining kernels from various methods and selecting hyperparameters without the need for validation sets. 10. Experimental results. Empirical comparisons against baseline methods across various tasks and LLMs demonstrate that KLE outperforms previous methods, showcasing its effectiveness in quantifying semantic uncertainty in LLM generations. What are the theoretical benefits of using kernel language entropy, KLE, compared to the existing method of semantic entropy in estimating uncertainty for freeform natural language generation? The theoretical benefits of using kernel language entropy, KLE, Compared to the existing method of semantic entropy in estimating uncertainty for freeform natural language generation, 
lie in its ability to capture more nuanced semantic similarities between generated texts. KLE incorporates a distance metric in the semantic space of generated answers, allowing for a more fine-grained estimation of uncertainty by leveraging semantic similarities encoded by unit trace positive semidefinite kernels. This approach enables KLE to distinguish between semantically similar but not strictly equivalent answers, which semantic entropy may treat as separate clusters, leading to more accurate uncertainty estimates. Additionally, KLE is more expressive than semantic entropy, as it can distinguish uncertainty in cases where semantic entropy fails to do so, making it a more powerful tool for estimating uncertainty in freeform natural language generation scenarios. How is the performance of the proposed kernel language entropy, KLE, method validated and tested across various tasks and LLMs with up to 70B parameters? The performance of the proposed kernel language entropy, KLE, method is validated and tested across various tasks and LLMs with up to 70B parameters by conducting experiments on 60 dataset model pairs. The tasks cover different domains of natural language generation, including general knowledge, biology and medicine, general domain questions, and natural language math problems. The experiments involve using LLMs such as LAMA 27B, 13B, and 70B, Falcon 7B and 40B, and Mistral 7B. The evaluation compares KLE with baseline methods such as semantic entropy, discrete semantic entropy, token predictive entropy, embedding regression, and p-true. The evaluation metrics used include the area under the receiver operating curve, AUROC, and the area under the accuracy rejection curve, AUARC. Statistical significance is assessed through a large number of experimental scenarios and obtaining confidence intervals over 1,000 bootstrap resampills. The main criterion for comparing the methods is based on the fraction of experimental cases where KLE outperforms the baselines, assessed with a binomial statistical significance test. The results show that KLE consistently achieves the best results compared to the baselines, especially for the largest models like LAMA 270B Chat and Falcon 40B Instruct, demonstrating superior performance across various tasks and LLMs with up to 70B parameters. What specific results were achieved with the kernel language entropy, KLE, method in the experiments? And how does it compare to baseline methods in terms of uncertainty quantification in natural language generation? The kernel language entropy, KLE, method achieved superior results in uncertainty quantification in natural language generation experiments. Specifically, KLE outperformed baseline methods in predicting the correctness of model responses, as measured by the area under the receiver operating curve, AUROC. Additionally, KLE was effective in increasing model accuracy by refusing to answer when uncertainty was high, as shown by the area under the accuracy rejection curve, AUARC. The experiments conducted across 60 dataset model pairs demonstrated that both variants of KLE, KLE heat, and KLE full consistently outperformed the baseline methods. The results were particularly notable for the largest models used in the experiments, LAMA 270B Chat and Falcon 40B Instruct, where KLE consistently achieved the best results compared to the baselines. Importantly, KLE did not require token-level probabilities from the model and worked effectively in black-box scenarios. The method's hyperparameters could be selected without the need for validation sets, as default hyperparameters yielded similar results to those selected from validation sets. Overall, KLE demonstrated significant improvements in fine-grained semantic uncertainty estimation compared to existing methods, showcasing its effectiveness in enhancing uncertainty quantification in natural language generation tasks. What are the limitations associated with the proposed kernel language entropy KLE method? And what future work do the authors suggest to address any shortcomings or enhance the method further? 
the limitations associated with the proposed kernel language entropy KLE method include the requirement for multiple samples from a large language model, LLM, which can increase the generation cost. However, the authors argue that in safety-critical tasks, the potential cost of hallucination should outweigh the cost of sampling multiple answers, making reliable uncertainty quantification via KLE worthwhile. Another limitation is that the method relies on semantic kernels derived from natural language inference, NLI-based semantic graphs, and the authors acknowledge that other types of semantic kernels, such as those based on embeddings, should be explored. Additionally, the authors note that the natural language generation landscape is diverse, and they suggest that the method should be carefully evaluated for other potential applications of LLMs, such as code generation. To address these limitations and enhance the KLE method further, the authors suggest several avenues for future work. They propose exploring alternative semantic kernels beyond those derived from NLI-based semantic graphs, such as kernels based on embeddings, to potentially improve the method's performance and applicability. Additionally, the authors recommend conducting thorough evaluations of the KLE method in various domains of natural language generation, including code generation, to assess its effectiveness and generalizability. Furthermore, they encourage investigating ways to reduce the generation cost associated with KLE, possibly by optimizing the sampling process or exploring more efficient sampling techniques. Overall, the authors advocate for continued research to refine and expand the KLE method to address its limitations and enhance its utility in a wide range of practical scenarios.